Hey there, guys. I was hoping to get this started a little earlier, but I still have my coffee. Um, today, I'm sporting it in a Spider-Man mug. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. What is it? What's that tagline? Um, never underestimate the power. No. With great power comes great responsibility. That's it. Never underestimate the power of responsibility. <laughs> I'm getting it all backwards in my head. Well, um, I got the coffee. Oh, the art today. I wanted to share with you guys something I thought was really cool. But um, proportions are so hard for people to draw. And um, and so this is a technique that you can use. But really, it's it's to have some fun with some kids. If you know if you have kids or if you know some kids, it's summertime now. The kids are getting out of school. And um, so kids are just around more. So this is something that you can do. And it's just using your hands. Um, I want to say using your hands to draw, but you probably always use your hands to draw. <laughs> but um, using your hands as a, as a guide to be able to draw. So I want to show that. And of course, um, there is one yellow dog here. Um, my guide dog, Eagle, is over there. She's laying in her bed just right across from me. I'm over where, where Jackie sits when she's in here in my studio. Um, she is a snoozing though. So anyway, I wanted to prove there is one yellow dog in here. Um, my little title is not clickbait. I've delivered on the dog. <laughs> so you guys are welcome. But um, so let me let me show you really quick here. Um, I, I have a I have some watercolor paper out. And, oh, and I want to share with you guys something that I think is really cool. Um, it's a paint pen. I use this for the first time on Monday. I mean, it's a it's a do-it-yourself sort of paint pen. So the paint that is in here is um, paint that I mix myself. It's paint that I draw with. Um, one question that I get asked quite a bit. Now, you know, I, I get emailed this like almost every day is, well, you, you're, you're blind, you're visually impaired. How do you draw? Well, I draw using paint that I can touch and feel. So you can see the color, you can see the paint. But more importantly for me, I can actually touch it. So in this, and I've tried these before, but the tips were never right. Jackie got me this for Christmas, and I it's, I haven't used it you know all year because I've tried tried some before it never worked, but I'm mixing this new type of paint that it's a it's a higher flow and it um, dries really really fast, and I thought well maybe it'll work with this, and I used it on Monday and it did. And I'm gonna try it again today for this drawing because I'm gonna be making a cartoon sort of drawing so something like this is perfect. But see, I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's got a tip. The tip retracts in there. The paint that I mixed in, in here, it's acrylic paint, which is a high flow acrylic um, by Golden. Let me see if I can find it over here. And I will show it to you. So let me see. So I'm not sure which side the label is on, so I'm just going to spin it. But it's just a high flow sort of um, paint. Now, to that, though, I mix the mediums. I mix a high flow acrylic release medium. And then I also mix um, some acrylic artist ink into it but and what this does is it makes um and i when well, the proportions i'm not really sure i never really measured it out i do it for feel so i just measure it until it feels right but it makes it though until it, it's it, it's a paint that um it doesn't really leave a, a big raised line but it feels kind of rub rubbery and sticky so even when it dries it has like a rubbery feeling so even like a and it dries so fast especially on paper but it just leaves this sort of sticky line that i can touch and feel and when I draw, I mean, I've been drawing for like, oh gosh, I've been drawing since before I could walk. And, but, but visually impaired, I've been drawing for almost 20 years. So it's a lot of muscle memory, especially something simple like a cartoon. I, I have, I have what I want in my, my mind and I just need some little touch points and some, some re references. So for me, I have a lot of practice. Drawing is something that I live and breathe. Um, so I have the, the picture in my mind first and then I put it down. Anyway, I just wanted to do, do that because I get asked that question a lot. Well, how do you draw? If you're just starting out as a visually impaired person, um, this kind of um, paint isn't probably the best way to start. This is something that I, I got into later, um, and I keep making thinner and thinner paints because my sense of touch has gotten better over the years. Just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? The more you do something, the better you're going to get at it, um, the more refined you can get at it. So if you're first starting, what you want is a paint that's really thick, that's easy to fill. Um, so that's what I started with, at least, and that's what helped me. And I did, I, gosh, I used that for like a decade before I started getting into this. Coffee break. Mm. Is Eagle still over there? I haven't heard anything from her. I don't even hear her snoring. Gosh, she's sleeping deep. Anyway, back to it. Okay, guys, I want to share this with you. Here we go. Here we go. 
<laughs> get ready for this. <laughs> now, oh, I, I should, I should, I should tell you, there is a real chance this is going to fail and not come out and look okay. That's all right. I'm okay with that. So what's what we're going to do? And this is nice for children, like I, I said before. Um, proportions. We're going to draw a face. Proportions sometimes are very hard to get. There's different ways to do it. This is one that's kind of fun to do with children. You just make a fist. And you, you put your thumb in, so your thumb is in. By the way, I didn't come up with this. So, so this is a really cool idea. It's not my idea. Um, this is something that I learned on the interwebs. Um, so if you go on the internet and you look for um, ways to draw, there's so many great things on videos, the Pinterest and things like that. So um, I found this on a video. So what you're doing is you're just outlining. You're going over each knuckle and you're going around. And then you're stopping. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a second. Okay, so this paint that I have, it dries, where is it? Where is it? Oh, got it. Okay, this paint dries really quick. And then get a reference. Okay. Okay, so I'm not really happy with this line. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> it will work. It will work. Okay, so I'm going to get, okay, there's, there's a little bulge out here. So I'm going to go above the bulge. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to make a curly cue. Then I'm going to go to around this curly Q, and then I'm going to make another curly, curly Q. Then around that curly Q, let's see, that's about there. I'm going to make another curly Q. So you can see this is very curly Q heavy. And off that, you know what, I'm going to make another, and then might as well, I'm going to make another. Okay. So you can see, you can start seeing where a face is starting to come together a little bit. So on this, I'm going to count, let's see, where is it? There it is. So, the, so this ink is a little sticky. I'm going to go up in the second one over here, and I'm going to go like this. What is that? You know what? I'm going to do it like that. Maybe this will work. And then I'm going to go boop, boop, and then... So hopefully that looks right. In my mind, that's the image that I was <laughs> sort of coming up with. So let's see. Where's the end of this? There it is. See, see how dry this is? Like, it's it's dry so quick, but it, it has a sticky re residue. And, I, and you know what? I'm just going to put a curly key there. Um, and then over here, okay, where this kind of goes in a little bit, I'm going to make a, um, okay, so I'm going to put I, blow, blow, okay. Now, it's nice to have a little light in your eye, so, so I put a little dot, oh, and then, okay, I'll let that dry, I made that pretty heavy. When I'm leaning over, I don't know if I'm out of camera or not, but I'm blowing on the thingy. So, okay, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go... And then... Gosh, feeling, feel... Oh, gosh, I'm going Feeling... So, hopefully, that's about right. <sighs> I'm, I'm, normally, I wouldn't go this quick. Um, but portions are going to probably be a little off because of that, and that's okay. You know what? This, this is just for fun. And that's one of the things, too. If you're doing this with kids, it doesn't have to be perfect um, at all, you know? So, uh, you know, in, in fact, if theirs looks better, that's, it's a, okay, sorry, I can't talk, apparently, I do this. Um, if, you know, if, if theirs is better, well, that's just nice for them, too. So that's cool. So what, what I'm doing is I'm just putting in a few little... things. You know what? I'm going to call that good. <laughs> it's not great, but it's good. And so, as you can see, it makes a face. Here's here's one that I did er earlier. And um, um, it has a little bit more of a swoop to it and stuff. So, you know, it's a, it's all about having fun, though. That's, that's all it is. So, hopefully that's something that you can do. You know, it's really easy. It's um, practice. It. And it, as you can tell, let me... Mine is not great. Mine is not that great. And I, I end up with paint on my fingers. Um, but I love this paint pen, though. Oh, my goodness. This this new ink that I – or paint that I'm drawing with. Um, I'm calling it ink because I put it I put it in a marker. These markers are awesome, by the way. You, you buy them, and they're empty, and then you can fill them with whatever you want. Um, and this paint that I started mixing up is so great for me to be able to, to – I, I can't believe how fast it dries, but it still remains kind of sticky feeling. I love that. And so far, I was wondering if it would get in here and clog it up because these are really made for like a high flow sort of paint without. But 
and the stuff that I'm using leaves that sticky kind of residue so I can touch and feel it. I was wondering if it would clog this up and not work after a couple of days, but it's still working. So maybe it helps too. It's got these little marbles, not marbles, BBs in it. Anyway, well guys, thanks so much for what, watching this. And you know, um, if you got some kids in your life, draw with them, have some fun with them. Um, it'll make the summer that much better, but I appreciate you guys so much for, for watching this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>